I'm Vera Dixon Smith. My family and I have lived in Fort Nottingham for five years. Just after moving into the house, the second night that we were here, I woke up at two o'clock in the morning and saw two people standing at the end of the bed where it is now. There was a lady and a gentleman and they both appear to be in late 1800s, dressed, both dressed in black and I would have estimated the age at about 35 years old. There was no movement, there was no talking or anything else, but they didn't stay very long and I've never seen them since. A night later, I woke up very much the same time with somebody shaking me on my shoulder. Uh, we've been extremely busy during the day, moving furniture and boxes and crates all over the place, gone to bed rather late and were exceptionally tired. However, I woke up at this early hour of the morning with this person shaking me. I sat up and I said, please just leave me alone, I'm very, very tired. I put my hand on the bed to feel this exceptionally cold, cold feeling on the side of the bed. Since that time, we've never experienced anything like this again. But neighbors up the road apparently experienced this, a similar incident after the gentleman had come out of hospital after having had a bypass operation. He apparently had a very similar visit. And from stories that we've heard, it appears that it's a young girl who lost her father when she was very, very young. And every time it appears as though somebody, uh, a male person, is in rather sad state or is perhaps very, very tired, she might perhaps go and visit him. Having stayed in the house for several years, we didn't sleep where the bed is now. The bed used to be in this position where I'm standing, facing towards the window. For some reason or other, we were never very, very comfortable in this position and battle to sleep or get a sound night's sleep. After a bit of experimentation, we moved the bed and it's now in the position where it is. Since it's been there, we've actually had very little problem sleeping at all. Other experiences that we've had in the house, um, in the main passageway, whilst we've been sitting in the evening, my wife and I, the children at boarding school, we've been sitting watching TV or perhaps reading and we've heard footsteps running down the passage. Not somebody that's very heavy, but childlike. And we've assumed it's the same little girl that's come to visit and has been around here pretty regularly. Elliot, you mentioned earlier on that you could feel a particular ghost in this mm. building. Can you describe that ghost to us? I just feel a, a female ghost moving inside all the room and I heard some footsteps walking in the rooms, just walking like a visiting. And were those heavy footsteps or light footsteps? Light footsteps. Light footsteps. Yeah, but for the female, yeah. And where's that ghost now? Can you still feel that ghost? No, I can't feel it now. <laughs> 